Hey, all you Pisces. This is Lisa, and this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Pisces. I'll be taking a look at your recent past energies, uh, your current energies, and your near future. This probably won't resonate for all of you, since it's a general reading for the collective. Um, what else? <clears throat> I'm using a, a new deck that I just got. Tarot of the Abyss. I just uh, used it for Scorpios, and I, I really like it. It's a black and white deck. Uh, a lot of illustration, but it's pretty cool. And then I'll either clarify with the Wild Unknown Tarot or uh, the Light Sears Tarot. So again, this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. All my info is down below in the description box, by the way. All the links to my Facebook, uh, my website, all that kind of stuff. And I hope everybody's having a good holiday weekend. It is Sunday. I have to keep reminding myself because I'm forgetting <laughs> that it's a, it's a holiday. And holidays, screw, screw with my days. You know, they, they always feel different. Okay, anyhow. Let me go ahead and get started here. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I was going to ask, but since you... Okay. Since you threw that out there, Spirit threw out the lovers in your recent past. Spirit, what else do we have here for the sign of Pisces? Thank you. Oh, the devil. Okay. Well, that's a really cool devil card. Spirit, what else do you want to show me for the sign of Pisces? Thank you, Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck we have Knight of Swords in reverse. So this could this could mean that somebody's uh, has not been truthful, or that you've been struggling within your thoughts lately, which is entirely possible because you have the devil sitting in your current uh, energy, recent past, the lovers. Um, this is a strong strong bond strong um it could be it could be a soulmate connection or it could just be that you've made a choice in your recent past um because this is also a card about choices then <clears throat> with the devil <laughs> i'm really looking at this because i've never seen this before since this is a new deck um interesting so the devil you know right now you you could be feeling like this you could be feeling like like you're being held hostage by something uh or it also could be that if this signifies a person that it's creating some more negative type of energy or thoughts but the ace of wands in your near future that's about movement energy movement and we got the strength that just popped out this is in my last reading also um i'm gonna put it back in because i wasn't ready oh yeah they're just popping out so all right spirit let me go ahead and start clarifying since uh these all seem to be popping out already. So let's clarify the lovers. Okay. <laughs> oh, Eight of Cups. Oh, I had this in the last one too. So 
Eight of Cups. This is about just walking away from whatever emotionally is just too much. You're just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. Um, and I'm moving away from this. Um, bottom of the deck on this one, the tower. I also had this in the last reading. However, it was in the other, the Wild Unknown deck. But at any rate, it's a tower. And the tower, you know, it kind of, it's going hand in hand with this Eight of Cups here. Um, <laughs> because the walking away could be part of that tower, um, that tower moment could have started the eight of cups, you know, a tower, that's a, that's a shakeup, that's a universal, um, shakeup, it's a big, it signifies a big change, um, and in this deck, there's like this tree house, that's, you know, hanging off of this limb here. And then we've got, um, you know, people hanging on for dear life, pretty much. And that's, that, that can be what it feels like. So something has propelled you to walk away um, from something. Okay, let's see what we got. And the chariot again. I had that in the last one for, for Scorpio. The Chariot, Major Arcana. Um, you're, you're, you're moving forward. You're propelling forward. Um, did I have the Chariot? Maybe I didn't have the Chariot. I know I had the Six of Swords. Anyhow, the Chariot, it's movement. Um, you're, you're moving away right along with this Eight of Cups. So you've recently... moved away from from a situation from a person uh, let me see if I can clarify what the devil is about here in your current energies spirit please clarify the devil thank you the star but it was in reverse um, the star is about, you know, wish fulfillment, um, fulfillment of dreams, but it's in reverse. It's saying like somebody's kind of squashing your, your spirit, so to speak. Um, making you feel like you're not capable of achieving, you know, what it is that you want. Um, if they're not making you feel that way, then this is something that you've been telling yourself, uh, which is possible because this is clarifying the devil. Um, and that's, you know, the devil is really about kind of making you see things about yourself. You know, sometimes they're not true. A lot of times they're not true. Uh, if the devil is about somebody else, it could represent a negative aspect within them. You know, on the more extreme end, addictions. You know, uh, a lot of times the devil's just kind of toxic behavior. Behavior. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> toxic behavior. Um, then we've got the Page of Cups. So now the Page of Cups is saying, you know, you've got a new, a new emotional way of thinking about this situation or person. You know, you're, you're starting to realize and really kind of break free emotionally from this. This toxic feeling, whether it's within yourself or somebody else. And because in your near future, you also have the Ace of Swords. So, Ace of Swords. Sorry, not Ace of Swords. I do this all the time, I swear. 
um, Ace of Wands, similar, but this has more movement. Um, this is a new spark. So going from the Page of Cups to where you're now saying like, you know, I'm starting new. I'm starting fresh. You know, I'm, I'm going to not be weighed down with this toxic behavior. You know, I'm going to be, feel better emotionally. Um, because Ace of Wands, that's a, that's that thought process. It's a new thought. It's can be an aha moment. Uh, it's where you're starting to move away from what's been keeping you down, uh, or a new thought process in general, a new movement. Wands are fire energy, and they, uh, it moves pretty quickly. So let's see what else we can get here. Thank you. Five of Swords. Yeah, this it's a new way of thinking. It's it's transformation. You can see here. There's It's weird. Almost looks like it. Almost looks like a cupcake on the table, um, with the butterfly in the jar. Um, but five of swords. That can be some conflict, but it, it's it could be some struggling with some thoughts. You know, it, it can mean feeling defeated. But in this case, I feel like it's just cutting through of kind of heavy energy that you've that you've had you know that you've been dealing with um, and and moving towards more of a transformation as far as whatever situation this is about if it's about a person or situation spirit please clarify let me get some more on this please clarify the five of wands Clarify the Five of Wands, please. Why is the Five of Wands here? Thank you. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. It's about stability. Uh, slow moving energy. It can also represent a person who's more stable. Um, financially, but I feel like that has more to do with you, uh, moving towards, moving towards some stability af after this, um, this tower over here, because you've got the chariot. The Page of Cups, and then the King of Pentacles. Uh, let me get my other deck here. Spirit, please clarify the Chariot. What else do you have to say about the Chariot? Please clarify. Thank you. Two of Swords. Trying to decide between two things, maybe struggling with uh, what decision to make moving forward. Thank you. Ace of Wands. That's that. Um, I thought you already had the Ace of Wands. Um. Ace of Wands, it's a new, it's a new spark of energy. It's that moving forward, you know, in this black and white deck, there's some color, but Wands is that fire energy. This is a new start. It's a, it's a, it's like starting over. And this has got red and yellow because that's that, that passionate energy of the Wands. 
Okay. And then Queen of Pentacles. That's that stability. So now you have the King and the Queen. Let me get some more in the Page of Cups. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Thank you. Oh, the devil again. I feel, yeah, I feel this devil energy is you, you know. Um, I'm going to get a couple more. Spirit, please clarify this devil. Why is this devil here? I'm getting that you're holding back. You're, you're hes there's hesitation here. Ace of Pentacles, and see that's, you know, that's that new start. You've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, and now you have Six of Cups. But it's in reverse, so it's, there's, you're holding back something. There's something emotional that's holding you back. And this is your current energy. Page of Cups, yeah, that's emotions. Um, the star in reverse. It almost feels like you you're stuck. You, it almost feels like you you're stuck with this this representation of the devil. It's being wrapped up in all of this. Um, you know, you've got the wings here, but you're not using them because you're too wrapped up. You're too you're tied down. You're stuck. Um, something is keeping you from. from moving forward, uh, it feels like you've got some fear. Fear, fear, you've got fear. Something is making you fearful of moving forward with this. Let's see. Spirit, please clarify the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. Thank you. It's flying everywhere on me here. Wheel of Fortune. We've got the moon up here on the right, an owl on the top left, and an eclipse at the bottom. And the Wheel of Fortune in this deck is like a mangled mess of, st of sticks. Um, and whenever I get the Wheel of Fortune card, I roulette always come a roulette wheel comes to mind. Like, spin the wheel, and what are you going to get? Um, but the owl stands out to me. You know, owls are wise creatures. Um, they're they. They see everything, you know, um, because of the way their head spins. They're very aware. They're very alert. Um, they take flight when they need to. And in this card, you can see here's darkness where the moon is and the eclipse. And then you've got the white at the bottom. Let me get a couple more. Spirit, please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. I almost lost it here. Two of Wands. Yeah, you, you're... It's, it's like you're... Something is... It's... 
it's like you're looking out and you're waiting between these two options or between, you know, two decisions. But you're not moving. And the wands are usually movement, but I don't feel like in this case it is. Sure, please clarify the two of wands. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Same thing. It's about that balance. It's about kind of these two decisions, you know, this way or that way, which path. Uh, let me get my other deck again for some advice. The energy just feels very heavy. Honestly. Um, I get a very heavy energy feeling. And it starts to dissipate here. But then moving forward, it's like something is stopping you. It's like you're walking into a closed door kind of energy. What advice do you have for Pisces about this? Whoa, okay. Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands, it's that energy movement. Could be somebody coming towards you, but it feels like this is more you. And Ten of Cups, you know, that's... Um, That's emotional happiness. She's holding hands with somebody. There's a... I think it's supposed to be a baby, but honestly, the face on this is kind of creep, creeping me out. Just just saying. Um, th that's Ten of Cups. That's, you know, happy family life. Um, you know, the ending of that cycle of emotions of that walking away spirit one more card please one more card please what advice do you have for Pisces thank you six of swords I know I had that in the last reading oh I was thinking it was the chariot but it was this Yeah, don't be afraid of moving away. Six of Swords, that's, you know, moving into calmer waters. Um, I really feel the hesitation. And then on the bottom of the deck on this, you've got Two of Swords in re I'm sorry, Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups, that's the most similar thing you can get to the Lovers in the deck. Uh, and you've already got the Lovers card here sitting in your recent past but this is in reverse so you're it's an emotional stagnation so it it feels like emotionally you're getting like stuck emotion you're stuck emotionally for some reason Please tell me about the Two of Cups in Reverse. Please clarify the Two of Cups in Reverse. Why is this here? Thank you. The Wise One. In most decks, this is uh, the Hierophant. In this deck, still the Hierophant. It's just called the Wise One. Uh, and this as you can tell, is not the traditional Hierophant image. Uh, this is a shaman and, you know, teaching two people here. I 
and this was clarifying the two of cups in reverse So this is, this is, Spirit's helping you to heal this. This is what this is, this is saying here. It's like you're emotionally closed off with somebody or with a situation. But Spirit is here to help you. This, it, and it hit me when I said, you know, he's sitting here with two people. Because it, this is right after the Two of Cups, which is what I was clarifying with this card. Um, so the two there in this, in the two of cups hit me when I said, oh, he's sitting there with these two people. Um, you're going to get, so spirits helping you with this. They're either sending, you know, a spiritual type person to help with this, or it's coming to you in dreams, visions. Um, just downloads, just knowing, um, this, this emotional wall is what it feels like to me. It's going to change because spirit's helping you with this. Nine of wands in reverse. Yeah. So nine of wands, you know, that's, that's. That's kind of, you know, that's moving through a heavy load. Um, but this is in reverse. So that's saying to me that this is going to change and your burden of this is going to be lifted because Spirit's helping you with this. Um, and on the bottom of the deck, Temperance, this is a card about patience. Uh, this is Major Arcana, so it's it's a universal um, card here. Temperance is that patience. The interesting thing on this is there's two cups here, and there's equal amounts going into one. And up here she signifies most decks have uh, an angel on the temperance card. This is, again, about emotions. I feel like if you're patient, Spirit's going to be helping you with this. Because with the exception of the Nine of Wands in reverse, you've got the two here, two of cups. You've got the wise one with the two people. And now... You've got temperance, and again, there's a two. And these are all really closely tied together. Um, you know, Spirit saying, with some patience, you know, you will be helped out in this situation, whether it's a, a spiritual download, um, somebody, you know, that you trust, a wise person helping you with this. I feel it's more spirit in, in some way, either with a thought, a feeling, a knowing, um, kind of healing this, this emotional blockage. It feels like an emotional blockage. Or, it, I mean, it could be that this, if this lover's card here does represent a person, it could even mean that they're coming back from your past. This is the chariot. Um, and that maybe this relationship could be healed. Uh, lovers don't necessarily have to signify... A love relationship it could be a close bond with a family member or friend that type of situation um, but spirit is helping you with this so do not worry try not to have that fear that um, it, it, 
I feel it's like a fear of opening up emotionally or a fear of looking, really looking at your emotions. Um, but in order to heal those emotions, you have to take a really good look at them. Not just look at them, you have to feel them. It's, it's like, and that devil energy, you know, with this card could mean you might be shoving down these emotions with toxic behavior like a lot of people do um, by overindulging too much of something, uh, too much drinking, too much smoking, too much ignoring the situation. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be like any kind of, you know, addiction, but it could be not being willing enough to really sit in your, you have to kind of sit in your emotions to move through them and, and heal from them if, if they're weighing you down, because I feel like they're holding you hostage at this point. Like you're putting up this big wall. And spirits like, you know, trying to take a sledgehammer to try and knock that down. And it will happen. Um, because you've got this, the wise one here guiding you. In what form, I don't know. But you'll know, more than likely. Um, so you do, you do have that on your side. And don't fear... Um, and, and it's not good. And I know from experience to hold in your emotions. So if something's bothering you, uh, if there's something you want to say to somebody, you need to say it. You don't have to say it in a mean way or whatever, but get those feelings out because if you hold them in too long, they will come out eventually. They can come out in the form of panic attacks a lot of anxiety, um, that type of thing where it's kind of like you shove it down, you shove it down, you shove it down for so long. It's, it's eventually it, it's like a bomb going off and it can affect you physically. Um, and not in a good way. So spirits here helping you right now to heal this you know, so that you can move forward and, you know, be in a better place. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful, helpful for some of you Pisces. Uh, if it did, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Also, if you could uh, like this video, I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I upload uh, new readings for Pisces. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Thanks. Bye.